is designed to help you understand the appropriate use and inappropriate use of artificial intelligence. I am using Gemini, which is a Google product, uh, just to kind of help you get a feel of what's going on. Uh, what many students are doing uh, these days is uh, they're going to um, the prompt, they're finding chat GPT, Gemini, Blame GPT, whatever process they're using. And they're going in and trying to do something like write a 2000 word essay on the documentary hypothesis. And so they get a little bit of information about this and it's um, uh, uh, not quite uh, as deep as they want. So if they, but they'll go in here and they'll say, okay, I want to copy this section right here. And they'll grab this section and they'll copy it and then they'll open a Word document while mine's opening and they will come over here and they will paste it right into the document. And then they'll say, well, that's only 536 words. So they go back and they say, okay, well, I need more. And so they'll go down uh, and say, okay, well, I wanna consider counter arguments. So copy, you know, paste. And then what you get is uh, the document. And then they go like, okay, well, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this section that I just got and copy. And then I'm going to come over here and hit there. Uh, now they're up to a thousand words. And you see how this is going to work. It's going to go over and over and over until they reach 2,000 words. The problem, of course, is that this is unethical. It is verging on plagiarism. Uh, and the final product of this paper is not going to make very much sense because it's going to be just chunks of material. And so we as faculty will read this and immediately know that it is um, AI generated. Uh, another sure sign is that obviously there is no... Um, bibliography, there's no references for this information. It's very clear that this paper has been generated by AI. Uh, and in fact, if I ran this through an AI detector, that's exactly what it would tell me. So that's not how you should be using AI for your paper. Now, of course, as you learn how to use this more, you can develop this into a 2000 word essay uh, as you go so that you have one continuous essay. But the way G, uh, AI works is it's just going to compile blocks of information anyway. So the long and the short of it is you're going to wind up with some very disjointed information and that's really not going to make sense. And so uh, to you or the professor, uh, but if you don't read it, then you're going to uh, realize you, you're not even going to realize that you've made these huge mistakes. Uh, you can, by the way, uh, tell the uh, AI that you want to write an essay and that you want six or seven or eight sources, but it will create those sources. Um, I'm going to put write a 2,000 word essay on uh, documentary hypothesis. And include a bibliography uh, with uh, six sources. All right, so here it's going to go. Uh, it's going to start out, give you some information. It's going to write the essay. Uh, then it's going to start giving you the, uh, the references and all that kind of stuff. This is really great, uh, but the problem that is going to happen is that you're going to find that Many of these sources that it gives you are, uh, they're not quite real. Um, the person that they're referencing uh, may very well be a real person. Uh, the work may or may not be real, it just kind of depends. Uh, but it doesn't really 
give you any information uh, specifically. Um, one good thing about this uh, Gemini is it will also give you references from where it got its information. So you kind of see how it's building it. Uh, obviously, Wikipedia is not where you want your information to come from. So you can kind of see some of these things that are uh, how, how it's pulling together. The advantage of this is that since it's identifying your sources, is that you can actually use, uh, say it's got one, two, three, it's got all of these. You can use these uh, sources that it's identifying to do additional research on your own. That doesn't mean you're going to copy and paste information, but you've asked the um, AI to provide you with uh, information about the documentary hypothesis and in sources. So it's providing you with sources. Your job then is to take that and go, oh, I need to go follow that link and go find out what exactly uh, biblical archaeology associates for biblical research. This is a good page. So let's read this and see what it says. This is where you get your information, not from uh, the chat or the AI, but as it reaches out and tries to find information, you follow up and you read this or download this. And then that's how you put your paper together, your research paper together. So here is a good article on the history and salient points of the documentary hypothesis. It talks about where they came from, what's going on, the different aspects of it. This is a great beginning to a great paper. So if you need to write a paper on documentary hypothesis, you can use chat or Gemini or whatever to help get you started. But you don't then go back and forth just copy and pasting, copy and pasting. Uh, you actually want to follow the links, look to see where it got its information from, and then use that information, this information that you went to, to actually write your paper. That's a perfectly legitimate use of artificial intelligence. Help me find the information that I need to find on a particular topic. However, again, what you don't want to do is go here and go, oh, great. Yes, sir, I'm going to go right here. Here's all the information that I need right here. I'm just going to scroll down here, and I'm just going to copy all of this. And, I mean, this is a great paper, man. I'm just going to copy this straight in and paste it right into my, uh, uh, my own paper. Look at all this. This is great information. Uh, the problem is, is that's called plagiarism, and it will immediately show up in our research. Uh, we put it in Turnitin, or you put it in uh, an AI sampler or Grammarly. It's going to absolutely tell us, tell us that all of this has been copied and pasted from this source. Uh, I do this, uh, I see this all the time as I am working on uh, research papers, grading research papers. Students will just simply copy and paste uh, big chunks of information from different papers. And again, you may not copy all of it from here. You may just say, okay, I just want these first few points. Or you found this really good, uh, uh, art, this section of the article on the seven arguments for, and then you go down, analysis of the arguments. Boy, this is great. Uh, and then you just copy this section in. Well, again, that's illegal. That is called plagiarism. It's stealing. Uh, and your paper will be returned, uh, and you'll have to redo it. So, again, use the resources that it's giving you. Uh, biblical Bible Archaeology is probably a good source. Uh, Catholic.com, uh, that's not really an academic source. Um, uh, here's Oxford University. That's probably a, a good source to use. But it's helping you identify them. Again, Wikipedia, don't use. Uh, Cambridge. Uh, source, form, redaction, literary criticism of the Bible, good information. So that's how to use generative AI. Let it help you find resources, help you answer questions. And, and maybe you don't know what documentary hypothesis is at all. Uh, then that's great. Just go to uh, your AI and say, what is the documentary hypothesis? And it's going to explain it to you. And then once you get that, you're like, oh, okay, now I know what we're talking about. And you can start uh, building your research from there. But again, you don't copy and paste this in blocks. 
We have seen lots of students do that. They just simply copy blocks of material straight out of AI into their document. We, we recognize these formats. The computers recognize these formats, and we all know it's AI. So don't do it. Again, instead, use it the way it's uh, best to be used, and that's to inform you. Oh, now I understand what documentary hypothesis is. Yes, I recognize JEDP. I just didn't know what it was. Okay, now I need to start uh, doing some more research. So what are some sources that can teach me about uh, documentary hypothesis? It'll start giving you lists, and then you can use that for your research. So if you're copy and pasting answers out of your uh, chat GPT or Gemini or Bling GPT or whatever, uh, if you're copy and pasting, uh, then you are cheating. If you are uh, following the lead of uh, your artificial intelligence and copy and pasting what it takes you to, that is cheating. But as you follow the information and use the information that chat GPT or generative AI provides for you, you can build some really good papers. Just make sure that when you do it, you consider uh, the sources that you're using, make sure that they are academic and credible, uh, read these well, and then build your paper around the content, but don't copy it the content, either from the sources or from the chat GPT artificial intelligence window. You'll follow these hints. I think you'll have a much better paper. You'll have much fewer problems uh, with the uh, professors who, again, will recognize this when you do it. So uh, just stick to it and do it the right way.